But yeah, no, I think I think um, the topics that, that have been funny is like the Kino Casino pedophile shit. I've been laughing my ass off about that. It's some funny but shit. But it's, yeah, I mean, we can't do it much more. I mean, <laughs> no, I know, you know what like, I mean? I maybe maybe, I think maybe, it's maybe they'll find, uh, find out a little bit more, but I, I understand that. But yeah, I mean, maybe talk about uh, Josh and his embarrassing takes. Yeah, because I mean, like yeah, that, it, it was, was like, the dude was like, Okay, I don't want to exercise because I don't like it. And it's like, well, I understand that, but like you're getting. Oh yeah, I saw like, that. You're irreversibly fat. You know, like yes. you need to get on that before it becomes. Don't like, tell me to lose weight. I don't want to. I want to eat what I want. Yeah, it people, wouldn't people hurt. In his form are just like trying to give him like friendly advice. They're not even saying like you should do this. They're just like, look, man, like I lost a bunch of weight and I feel a lot better. Everything's better. And he's like, you don't know who you're talking to. I I've tried it before. It doesn't work. Like, it's just like, I don't understand why that guy can't just take good advice. Well, because yeah. he has fetal alcohol syndrome and he's retarded. It, it would not. He's retarded would not white trash with fetal alcohol. <laughs> That's why. Like, it would have been... It would have been better for him to just like lie and be like, yeah, you know, I, I probably should hit the gym, but I've been so busy or something. Just lie and be like, agree that, yeah. Well, fitness you're is trying to put logic to a guy who is literally insane. Josh yeah. is insane. He's probably Josh, one of the most insane people. He's way block, more insane than anybody land. else. This is a guy. Block land it's like he's the yeah. biggest cow on the farms. This is a guy in mm -hmm. high school and college was writing manifestos on how he wanted to be a mass shooter wanted to rape and mutilate women who wanted to yeah. burn down his own house and kill his own mother i mean he is nuts he's absolutely fucking nuts and people listen to that voice and stuff and they think he's normal and they don't realize he didn't make the kiwi farms he bought it with the money that he stole from his programming project infinity next he bought the site so he could troll shield himself and blackmail people yeah. into not talking about him that his, his, what, that's the whole that's the, josh's whole life I, I think i think he has like he's very good at like coming across as like being a nice guy harmless I yeah his, i think his voice is like very disarming like it's just oh i wouldn't do anything like, yeah. really, really I'm, he's evil i'm just a poor guy he's really lonely but he's just an evil piece no. of shit yeah yeah I have to ask you the tough question on this, though. Is this like a recent position you've held, or is this like something you've always held ever since you've been posting on the farms? Josh? Well, you can yeah. literally see I posted stuff like this on the farms. Oh. Now, there were some times where we tried to... See, Josh was a big pain in the ass. So if you wanted... First of all, back then, it was a totally different... Totally different times... When you're talking about four years ago on the farms, five years ago, that's how long it's got. That's how long it's been since I posted on the farm, like four or five years. Okay. Back then, you would make a post. It was supposed to be informative. You're supposed to provide some information. You archive this stuff and you take screenshots and you put it in the post and you say, this is what happened today. And you post screenshots and some information about what happened and maybe a link that's archived or something like that. You know, a tweet needs to be archived. Now it is blogs. Blogs about yeah. how they want to kill Ralph. Blogs about how they want to kill Rakeda and how much better they are than Rakeda. I was going to say, it's basically just like blog posting. There's now. no just, screen oh, caps. I agree with this. I agree with that. Yeah, there's no anything. It's just blog posts from insane trannies. It's not even worth it so, to just like skim through the highlights yeah. or anything anymore. It's not even recognizable to me what it is anymore. And Josh, you know, is just, he doesn't care about anything. He just does it for attention. Well, so I think, if I it's think, getting I him attention, he's happy. I, I mean, it's like obvious. It's obvious there's favoritism too. I mean, it's yeah. like the gun oh, sub yeah. forward and all this shit. It's like there's a repeater sub forward. I mean, yeah. well, the fucked up Josh thing is, is it's all hidden. So there is, I didn't realize this for many years, okay? But after somebody had gifted me like the premium Kiwi Farms thing, because if you remember, I was like a popular poster. Everybody liked to read my posts. I'm not bragging. It's just reality. Everybody liked to read my posts back then. And I used to do big blurbs that were like informative of what would happen. And it wasn't like, oh, Ralph should die and all this bullshit. It was just like, this is what happened today. And I'd make it funny and I'd do screenshots and stuff. And Squire was like the king of that. Squire was even better than me at doing that. 
Squire was like the king of that, of doing like a big effort post that was funny and interesting to read. And that was what it was supposed to be about. It's just like, oh, there's these weirdos and, you know, trying to spit it in an interesting way where people want to read about it. Now it's just like people want to just talk about wanting to kill Ralph and how they're trannies. But yes, it's like, it's just black. Like, I want to kill Ralph. I want to kill Ralph too. And it's like, even yeah. when there Ralph are needs to die of a drug overdose. Yeah. I, I pray every day. Ralph needs to die of a drug when, ho- overdose. And there are blog posts too. It's just all like ESL gibberish or it's like Sprite header where it's just like, just incomprehensible. <laughs> just incomprehensible. It's like, or it's, or it's like 75%. Brian. It takes itself way too seriously. I'm like Kiwi right. farms is an actual thing, you know? It's not a thing. It's just to make people. It was supposed to be just to make people laugh. The thing but is, Josh though, is that got like full farm, control over it. It's like why even jump through all the hoops to access it anymore when there's like you could literally, you can basically all the stuff is on Twitter now. You can like find all the information. You well, want, everybody. What you people don't like know is you the reason. Just, if you just do like keyword searches and stuff like that, if you look in the yeah. right places. Well, what people don't know about the farms is the farms. The farms used to be uh, a lot more users and everybody hated josh but all of those people were purged over the last few years josh just goes through and just mass bans people now he was doing that even when i was on the site like most infamously in dax's thread people were saying that dax's house wasn't a mansion yeah dick masterson's house wasn't a mansion and he just banned like 50 people just went in there and started banning people banning people it's gotten but, more egregious, though. But like, now yeah. he just does that on a regular basis now, yeah, where if, if you don't if kiss you his ass, yeah, 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 he'll just ban you. he just mass bans. Yeah, he literally cleared out the entire DSP subforums because they called him a beggar. He just, all of them, like, all of the legacy used, they had been on that site forever, all banned. Mods, everybody just threw them out. I'm really, I'm really interested to see if people are ever going to get the refund for that body cam footage. Nah, I mean, that's... No, it's, it's not. Just like, it's just like his lawyer... They might like, get it think- because his motion was denied, but I can't imagine them releasing it until after the trial, but they might. No, nah, it's just like his lawyer fundraising scheme. Like, that, where did that money go? Like, he's oh, in his pocket, it didn't right? go. It's, it's funny, You know too, that lawyer he's... lives in an RV, right? He's... <laughs> The lawyer left his family and lives in an RV. I mean, what kind of well, lawyer? He, he was supposed to sue that company for like whatever libel or definition. How is he? How is he definition. losing to the cripple guy? He's losing to Greer. Yeah, he's gonna lose that yeah. case. It looks he's like. like paralyzed. How he's losing to lose? Greer because here's he's Josh's defense. Defa- I'll tell you why he's gonna lose the case. Josh's defense is he is not acting as a personal. In a personal capacity, his website hosts the material. He's not a publisher. Except that Brian wrote Greer's thread, released all of Greer's personal information, and was not acting in any kind of capacity as the owner of the site. He was acting as a user. I didn't know this. I didn't know. Wait, Brian was the OP? No, Josh was. Did oh, I say you Brian? Said Brian. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Not Brian. Brian's yes, on the mind. Yes, you are right. Brian, Josh. Brian was right. Brian was right. You <laughs> Brian's right. written a lot of OPs on the farms. Even though mm-hmm. Brian will tell you that all Kiwi farmers should be killed and uh, they're horrible people, Brian it's is probably so one of the most <laughs> prolific thread writers yeah. in the site's history. I think I think he uses the farms, though, for the same reason he gets into, like, <laughs> Another these, <Brian> w. <laughs> these, these Discord calls, though. It's just because, like, every time he's in the thread, he just tells people to, like, fuck off or kill themselves. Kill yourself, you piece of shit stalker! Which, I mean, that's kind of base. <laughs> I don't understand! I hate this site, that's why I come back and post on it every week! Yeah, it's pretty basic. Well, I was thinking, whenever I think of the farms, I think of Brian, and his thread is the best thread, because... If you look at Brian's thread, you will see that half of the posts in Brian's thread are Brian himself fighting with himself on sock accounts. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's real Looney Tunes. <laughs> it's some real Looney Tunes shit. So. But yeah, there's a, there's a lot of content in that sphere if you tap into it. Right? So you like, want, think... so people want Josh coverage. Well, I could do that least, myself. Josh I think, yeah, I think the smart thing to do is just cover Josh in the meantime and then wait for the casino to respond. Well, they're not going to come back. 
You really think that? Um, they're not coming back any time. I'd be surprised if I, they have to be out of money, but I don't think they're coming back anytime soon. I think they really are hiding in a bug. Oop. <laughs> I think they're hiding in a bunker. Excuse me. Well, maybe maybe they got soda. into a fight or something. Like that that could be a thing too. It's like maybe they're arguing over some shit. Like I don't know. I don't know. It could be anything, honestly. I think they did well, they not expect so anytime they get them. any pushback, they hide and go on vacation. What is, well, they, what they, they do the gym. They, they learn from gym, right? What yeah, I mean that's the gym. Anytime there's any controversy or put pushback, he's dying. He's okay, dying. He's in that. hospice. He's not coming back for. Uh, well, if you look at the PPP Twitter, yeah, it's Frost's fault. He's just like retweeting cog clips and stuff. It's like the lowest of the low. Because That's wasn't that about. last pedophile that was exposed on the Kiwi Farms a major, uh, like, sweetie squatter, too? <laughs> he had, like, yeah, a Medicare I mean, hat on. <laughs> and he's like, well, uh, uh, Ralph's wife was a pedophile. That's, I'm so pissed off at Josh back then after he, like, what did he say? Josh in, is like, not. All of his mods, especially that trombonista, like, writes about... Oh, so this is what I was going to talk about. I got derailed. So I, gonna, I like, got... The pay pig status on the farms gifted to me. So if you get that gifted to you, there is a whole hidden sub forum that they're doxing all the users that they don't like. And there's like a little fucking cabal in there that is just going nuts. And all of this stuff is hidden and Josh doesn't want anybody to see it. But there's some messed up stuff and all his mods are... You read anything and you will see all of his mods are so mentally ill. That Trombonista is like into the Lollicon stuff and she talks about it. Talks about being a little and stuff. Uses it's all of that stuff. So he got intimidated by his mods not to talk about the VTuber stuff. Well, he also keeps like he'll keep his mods if they just they work because they work for free, right? And it's hard yeah. to find a mod that'll do the the job so even if the mods fuck up and they do things he that, doesn't like, care as, it, as long as they're loyal to josh yeah i mean there's there were circumstances where he removed like a mod before but like like that autistic right was doing like gay ops and he was in the chud no he, he never all removed all, autistic oh, right is no, still no, a mod they didn't today. remove him they didn't remove yeah. him they removed another guy like it was like ld50 or something like that yeah i got removed because he was like fucking with the user and banned them for no reason i, I don't know and uh but so that was only one case but like his mods do other shit like they'll like the dsp mods right like they would they would they would run their forum the way that yeah. they run it but it was their rules and it wasn't like the rules of the website but he just let it go because he just doesn't want to deal with it and doesn't want to find other mods to do well that the dsp play. mods that's complicated there was a whole different culture with the dsp mods <laughs> I personally like Kat's sister. I mean, there should be no reason why they're hosting nude pictures of, of, of DSP's sister-in-law. Like, there's no reason for them to host something like that. Besides the fact that Josh, you know, is desperate for anybody to view his site. So if they're going to his site yeah. for revenge porn, he doesn't care. Like, yeah, you yeah, refuse to sure. take down the 8-0 nudes, the even though it has nothing to do with Ralph and it has nothing to do with anybody. Yeah, he remember when the shoe on head leaks happened how happy yeah. he was he's oh look at how many people came to the website like so he is chasing numbers for sure oh yeah that, you he's know. just chasing numbers that's like first and foremost and then second is like rules and whatever and then like the the most important rule for him is like he's the boss he's gonna run in you gotta kiss his ring right like that's the most important yeah. rule it's that or don't even interact but like he'll go into threads and start like dictating shit. I wasn't expecting you guys to say this. Nobody ever seems to care about Josh. So you guys are saying, "Bob, well, maybe I'll plan something with for Josh." I mean, it's like, yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll plan. People, something. people are like afraid of the farms, but they really shouldn't. It's because like they get no respect. Well, I it's, understand like, what the I, farms is because I used to post on there. I understand exactly yeah, what it is. I, I, you know, people say I'm angry at. The, I'm not angry. Uh, it's just the whole thing is not. I'm angry that it's not readable just it's like it, you want to promote funny. your site I mean, but the site's not readable there's nothing on josh, it that's of any value anymore josh is like undoubtedly the biggest cow on that site 
Yeah, and I blame Josh. I don't even blame the users, really. I blame Josh for all the problems yeah. on that site. Well, he's Me the too. person who drives, like, the direction of wh where the website goes in a lot of cases, in the most popular threads, right? So it's been, it's been said before that, like, the farms as a concept is a good idea, but the way Josh runs it is just... Well, you can't just, keep it as a, as a pornography, as a reservoir for pornography that people don't want on the internet. I mean, that's just insane. That's number one. <laughs> well, I, th I think Josh's problem is that he, he wants to be, like, famous or infamous, right? Yes. He wants to have a show. He wants his voice to be heard, right? When really the reality is, is he should be, like, a faceless person who's, like... Didn't he? not like that at all like he doesn't comment on things he just runs the website then i think like these trannies they wouldn't be after him i don't think they I, would care as much but i think when i heard you, you say him, go on but when, when you when you hear him on stream going after them it's like more personal so he's just like drawing heat to the website right? yeah and maybe but that's all he doesn't have anything against but... tranny his all of his mods are trannies bro like well, his main like mod crunk lord is a literal right? tranny the tranny yeah. It's a That's dude my main address. You, like, how long does the farms like actually have to last? Initial, an initial revolt when Josh started screaming. Yeah, there was it, but he purged all those people. Yeah. He just purges yeah, like, them. He just yeah, purges I mean, he them has, every time. He can control, like, the temperature. So if, like, th people are starting to, like, criticize him, he'll just do a band wave. And then it's like, oh, the criticism, like, died down because he still has his, like, core fans that'll dick ride him and defend him. Yeah. So it's very hard to attack him on his turf. You know what I mean? Well, it, it, that's the whole point. That's why he bought the site to begin with. Yeah. That was the whole point of the whole thing. Yeah. It's now, like what is... Playhouse, right? Yeah, what it's is, his playhouse. What is, what is Godwin saying his axe to grind up Josh? Uh, there really is none, I don't think. <laughs> Just does it. There's not really even an axe to gr for me to really grind with Josh, except that I think he's just... He's so power hungry. He is just, it's not good for anybody that it continues the way it's continuing. In my opinion, it's just like, why I, this, you know, I, I can't support that site existing when it really serves no purpose except for Josh to grift. I mean, that's the purpose of that site for Josh to blackmail people and grift. And how long do you think it has to last? Uh, I think Josh. Uh, I don't think it's going to last too much longer, only in that, you know, Josh, here's the problem. Josh refuses to let the site go, but that's going to be the ultimate downfall of the site because yeah. eventually he's not going to be able to hold on to it anymore and he's not going to let anybody else have it. So that's where things are going to be. That's where the trouble is going to happen. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to happen. Well, I, I think the only way that but, it can really go down is is like if if there's like a federal case against him that shuts it down because like he's getting his money through crypto like that's how it works right otherwise he would have been shut down a long time ago because he can't yeah. make any money so it's crypto that's funding the website if his crypto or crypto de uh, currency devalues or goes away some way or another his website does yeah right? well if he loses the greer case he's fucked yeah, that might be like a thing. Yeah, because then all of the lawsuits are going to follow similar patterns to the Greer case. And then he's going to be fucked. Everybody's going to copy how his legal strategy, which is just to yeah. get Josh on copyright. And he is, he's obviously breaking copyright. I mean, he's breaking copyright on so much shit, it's insane. So yeah. and they're going to get him on that. And that's yeah, and how, much, how much money can he fundraise after he just like milked everyone you know like he's not going to be able to keep it going on fundraise money yeah. like he might be able to shoot out another one and raise another like 100 grand but i mean like people are going to be like what the fuck We're well because the re but the reality is josh has been living off of the money he's been saying he's been yeah, putting into that site 100 percent. and he's not going to be able to he's just not going to be able to maintain it that's that's all it is Puffy nipples. What is it? Final word from you. Well, thanks for the stream. Uh, it was fun talking. If you ever need any uh, anyone to talk about Kiwi Farms, I got a lot of uh, information, particularly from around 2020 to 2023. Okay. Was when I was active on the website, and I was chit chatty with Josh. But yeah, I just he he, he started. You were chit chatty with Josh. Yeah.
He didn't threaten you? Like, my first interaction with Josh was, like, him threatening me. No, I got, like, I got on his good side, but, like, he started getting annoying. Like, like I had to, like, kiss his ass, and I wasn't. And then uh, he had his little followers uh, attack me and shit like that, and I was just like... Okay, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty typical. He'll literally start posting on your profile and telling them to attack you i know yeah like he'll be in like the general chat and he'll he'll just like um talk oh the general about... chat if you're in the general chat with josh and you don't kiss his ass he'll just ban your ass right off the site yeah it's just that's typical uh, you behavior know, he'll, he'll basically like what he'll do is like he'll he'll essentially flag you by like um disrespecting you in front of people and then they'll all jump in and i'll just and i just told them that they're all a bunch of fags and i never went back <laughs> Because hmm. they're, it's not even because because he disrespected me. It's just it was getting gay already. There's gay ops on the website, and people. Well, were that's just, what uh, you learn when you're a user on there is that there's a lot of trannies plotting in like these DM groups, and Josh full well he knows about it and is actively reading it while they're doing it. It's bizarre. It's bizarre what's going on in that site. Yeah, he it's just a, he, he he orchestrates like a lot of drama on the website but he yes. acts as if like he doesn't have anything to do with it and he's yeah he doesn't know what's going on he's not reading anything he doesn't know what's happening yeah yeah exactly yes. but yeah i'm so, aware of I that mean, but uh, yeah, he's actively crazy. telling these trannies to do exactly what they're doing and then when they get caught he goes i don't even know i'm gonna ban them piece of yeah. shit yeah i know yeah and then they come back with socks anyways yes yeah thank you for watching this clip by colonel J. this is the king of bold here Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!